Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Nick, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. So on today's video, we are discussing my skin journey, and specifically growing up with eczema. Six inch heels and a brand new wheel. I'm on. Climbing these charts with no record deal. I'm on. Taking what's mine, don't care how you feel. I'm on. 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 Oh, she bad. I just know she knows she bad. Don't hold she bad. So, to start off with my overall skin issues, it all started at birth. <laughs> when I was a few days old and I got. Um, taken home from the hospital I had to be brought back to the hospital because my skin was turning yellow and apparently I guess when I was born it wasn't fully developed um, I actually don't know if that's the, the start of the eczema or if that's the start of another skin issue that I also have um, which is not as severe as eczema but I just have skin pigmentation issues um, in certain areas. I can't show you, but basically um, my skin is not all one color all over. It's different colors in different areas. Um, it's not as noticeable, so it's fine, um, but I think that was, I guess, the start of my pigmentation issues. So as far as eczema, starting off when I was younger, um, you know when you're young and you're a child and all you care about is playing and in my case dancing and just being active, getting a bunch of cuts and bruises and stuff. So skin wasn't a major issue because it's not really on my mind as a child. But I guess my issues started rising once I hit like middle school. Start growing up a little bit, you start caring more about your appearance, you go through puberty and stuff. So a lot of like physical things start becoming more in your awareness, my skin became a major a major insecurity of mine, I would say. A lot of people who know me, um, they probably saw it. I, I think I did a really good job at like hiding it sometimes. I was never like the kid with eczema, but it's just something I had to deal with and it was very frustrating. What I noticed with my specific eczema is that it appears in areas of the body that bends. So I have eczema here, it bends. I have it on the back of my legs, it bends. On my neck, it bends. It also appears right here, it bends. So with me, I don't know what how you call it, I don't know if that's just a coincidence, but my eczema appears in areas that bend. It itches, it, it would create these like lines, really dark, itchy if i didn't put any lotion on it it'd be ashy and sometimes it will bleed and i would get like patches like all over it used to be like a huge ring right here and then like all over my skin and then on my legs um it would be back here and then it would be all right here on my leg so that was my eczema um it was very bad also it would appear on my lips well, my lips were always like ashy don't don't come for me but my lips was always dry and like peeling and i would always lick it create like a black ring around my mouth like i was a mess it almost bring me to tears because it's just so uncomfortable and i remember my nana would have to sometimes just calm me down she would have to get a wet rag and like pat it and then blow on it it was so bad The way I would hide it is just by wearing long sleeves and pants all the time. Even if it was summertime or hot day, I would not wear short sleeve. You cannot tell me to put a short sleeve on whenever my eczema was acting up, which was like 90% of the time. Sometimes you would see blood coming through my shirt because the spot was just itching. And same thing with my legs, it was bad. school I went to it wasn't um your typical school it was really like everyone pretty much got along like there were no major like bullies there were no cool kids like everyone was just on the same level so I didn't get bullied for it but I mean people still talk and I would still hear like different whispers and stuff so that kind of really like bothered me kind of hurt my feelings made me even more insecure about the way I look I just hated my skin I remember vividly it was one time 
it was some fitness class or something. They brought in an African dance teacher to come teach us some traditional African dance. And in African dance, you are supposed to wear a lampa. That's basically like a fabric you wrap around um, to dance in. Instructor, she brought in lampas for everybody. I already knew how to tie it around because I took, I was doing African dance anyways. So I was just playing dumb. When you put it on, you have to like plie. In doing that, your legs will be out, it will be exposed. So when she was putting it on me, I was trying so hard not to plie too much so that my leg wouldn't be shown. But she was just like, get lower girl, get lower. <laughs> Once my legs showed, I remember hearing um, whispers behind me like ew like it was it was so bad um it was very embarrassing it, it's just something I dealt with I tried so hard to hide it even in dance class I would always wear long sleeve leotards and tights I would never show my legs I would never show my arms um, for that one reason because I didn't want people to see my eczema and how bad my skin was So finally in my high school years, my mom finally decided to bring me to a dermatologist to see if there was anything else other than eczema that was causing these horrible breakouts. And of course he confirmed I have eczema, like that's obvious, but he also found that I was allergic to nickel. Um, didn't make a huge difference with my eczema, didn't help too much, but it did help um, as far as like my neck. Fake jewelry is made out of nickel, so I stopped wearing a lot of fake jewelry and that helped my neck because my neck would get like a whole bunch of bumps especially on the sides so that kind of helped knowing that I was allergic to nickel not really though because it still didn't solve like these areas I don't know if it was a dermatologist or if it was someone random all I know is once I once I found a vino <laughs> It was like, oh. <laughs> Avino changed my life. To this day, I only use Avino on my body. I know a lot of people like try to use like natural things like cocoa butter, shea butter. I'm telling you all that stuff, it feels like it just sits on top of my skin. Avino is the only lotion that kind of seep it feels like it's seeping into my skin and like just moisturizing it like you know how when you run out of groceries and you have to go to the grocery store and get some more food when I run out of Avino I have to go to the store and get some more Avino like I cannot live without Avino literally the same day that I don't use Avino my skin starts breaking out I kid you not Avino needs to endorse me because I live by Avino. It just works on my eczema. Ever since, as you can see, you don't see major patches. Um, my legs are clear. Like the, the patches on my arms completely disappeared. So eczema is something that I don't believe can be cured. It's just something you have to just maintain and deal with your entire life. I still have eczema. I'm living with eczema every day. Putting on Aveeno every single day all over my body, it helps. I do have occasional flare-ups. Right now, um, my flare-up is on my hands. My pinky right now is breaking out. Um, I don't know why, but my hands are breaking out with eczema right now. You can see it right here. In the winter time I have to be really mindful um, because it's cold my skin gets really brittle and dry so that can cause irritation and then this area um, and the back of my legs begin itching but I mean it's winter you're layered up people don't really see it so my huge issue is during summertime you can't really hide it you can but you'll burn up <laughs> like get hot um, and I'm kind of over those days that was so little school <laughs> and when you're hot you sweat and the sweat rubbing against my eczema areas this causes irritation so I start itching and so there comes another flare-up. So that is my journey of my skin and living with eczema. Um, it's something that I deal with every single day and it'll never go away but um, I can adapt to it, make the most of it and keep using Avino and being mindful of not to itch those specific areas. That's my skin journey. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to ask me any questions, definitely leave a comment. Everyone's eczema is different. Everyone's eczema is on different levels and different experiences. This is just my experience with eczema. 
it is what it is. You're born with the skin you're in and it's your job to make it work. So thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other suggestions on YouTube topics that you'd like me to cover, um, personal, anything, um, just hit me up and stay safe out there, guys. Keep wearing your mask. Bye. <laughs>